Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with you and a whole bunch of folks from Malone University. Dr. John Peterson is here with the members of the Malone Chorale. And also, are you all in chamber choir at the same time? No, not everybody, but... Yeah, John and Zach here. <laughs> a couple are, are. are. both in our chamber choir as well. Awesome. And, uh, okay, so we have a choice when you send a valentine. Um, maybe you don't want to go totally out on a limb telling someone you love them and you don't want to send a mushy song. You just want to send a friendship song to a, a friend. Is that possible? That is definitely possible. Uh, we'll, we'll have the students sing the friendship song here in a minute that we can deliver uh, between 9 and 6 on next Thursday on Valentine's Day. Um, it can come from a group of people. can come from an individual. Uh, we can tailor the song to fit the, the right situation. But without any further ado, here's our, our quartet singing. We've got a Valentine message for you. We've got a Valentine message for you. And it comes from some friends who are true. These friends, they think you're special. They really like your style. And so they sent us here today to sing for you. Oh, while we hope this Valentine coming your way. We'll bring you a happy Oh, awesome. Awesome. All right. Now, how about someone who maybe wants to take the opportunity to propose or something really cool? Um, do you have a romantic Valentine? We have a few options for that, but our traditional romantic song is Our Love is Here to Stay. Oh, let's hear that. It's very clear. Our love is here to stay. Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay, but our love is here to stay. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I've got to go back and pick up on something else that you just said. You've got several options in case someone wants to pop the question on Valentine's Day. What are these options? We do traditionally. Those of you that maybe have experienced our singing Valentine's outreach before uh, know those know of those two songs delivered by our chorale. Our chorale members uh, dress up in their concert attire, their formal attire. Uh, they come which with is, them, let's tell which is what... tuxedos for the men, uh, gowns for the women. Very, very uh, posh uh, for your special <laughs> uh, person in your life. Uh, they'll come uh, with a carnation of a, a so thankful again for the support of Kathy Calgill at Kathy Calgill Remarkable Flowers for uh, donating those carnations to deliver the Valentines, a handmade chocolate, and a personalized greeting card. When you uh, go online or if you call us, you can uh, uh, offer a personalized message that will print on a greeting card for your loved one. Or we'll call them if they're outside our delivery area. We have singing telegrams as well. But new in 2019, uh, John mentioned the Chamber Choir, which is focusing this year on vocal jazz and acapella pop. We have two romantic jazz standards uh, that we have a We've created a special uh, Valentine's package uh, that you can choose to really wow your loved one. Or if you've got a proposal in the works, Susie, that'd be a great uh, option for you. Uh, the entire chamber choir, all nine members of the chamber choir, will come in their formal attire with the flower and the greeting card. Uh, but they'll come with a full box of assorted chocolates. And they'll sing a full-length romantic jazz standard uh, between these two choices. A Nightingale Sang in Berkeley Square or I'll Be Seeing You. Wow. We have uh, professional recordings linked on our website at malone.edu slash valentines if people want to hear what these songs sound like and decide what the best option is for them. Oh, my goodness. That just would wow somebody, wouldn't it? It certainly would. I mean, our, our traditional valentines, the two songs uh, that you just heard them sing, are available for delivery inside Stark County for $15. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, special valentines package uh, offered by our chamber choir with this, uh, the full box of chocolates and, and the uh, romantic jazz standards uh, are available for a $50 uh, contribution. 
So for somebody thinking, oh, man, Valentine's Day's coming up. I'm stuck. What do I do? You take care of it all. You've got the candy, the flower. One-stop the... shop. And, exactly. And you'll get these amazing students, such as the four that have joined us here today on the program, uh, dressed to the nines, uh, coming to to uh, a residence or to a place of business. And we have seen, actually, we shared in rehearsal uh, just earlier today uh, with each other stories of experiences that we've had. Uh, we've seen tears. We've seen uh, of, tears of joy and laughter and honestly a little embarrassment in the workplace, <laughs> uh, which is all good fun. Yes. Suppose your Valentine lives out of state, they're far away, you can't get to them because they're beyond that 30-mile radius. Yeah, sometimes they're too far away or uh, or, or maybe an in-person uh, delivery is not the best option for you. We offer singing telegrams. Obviously, we can't send the uh, the chocolates or the personalized greeting card uh, to them, but, uh, but we'll have a quartet of singers uh, give them a call. And uh, wish them uh, wish them a happy Valentine's Day. Sing one of these songs that you just heard to them, and uh, share a personalized message over the phone with them. Very and cool. Those are available for five dollars anywhere in the U.S. Can't beat that. Can that call be FaceTime, or does it have to be just a voice only? You know, we will make FaceTime happen if, uh, if any right. of your listeners uh, <laughs> would prefer the FaceTime option. Uh, if you're a, if you're if your loved one has a FaceTime user with Apple products, we we can make that happen. That'd be very cool because they really do look so good. They're all dressed up. They certainly do, and it, it, that'd be a fun option. Honestly, that's a new thought for us, and your suggestion box is full of great ideas. Oh, thanks. Happy to help. You know, you never really retire, do you? you <laughs> <laughs> so it so, sounds like fun. Have any of you received one? I, I would love to. You never have? Oh, we've got to take care of that. How about you? Anybody send you one? Uh, you know the choir, the whole choral sing to be one year, and and nice. uh, it, Valentine's Day is my anniversary with my beautiful wife Karen, what? and uh, we're we're celebrating ten years this year. Oh, congratulations! And uh, the entire choral sing one year, and also. Uh, I believe my first year doing this, uh, some of the students found out where uh, we were having our evening dinner, and they came down to Luca downtown and sang to us and delivered to us. We had no clue it was coming. They, it was it was such a surprise. So you know, this is so perfect. But my wife may or may not get one. I don't want to say it on the air. They <laughs> right. the surprise. Uh, right? No, uh, we from won't me tell. Every year. That's right. <laughs> Um, oh, I by uh, by my last year there, my family was begging me, please, no singing Valentine. <laughs> so we had we had surprised them at basketball practice, you know, all kinds of things that nobody wants to have happen to them. But it, but as you say, all in good fun. I think they truly appreciated it. You know, uh, most of the recipients are, are, are truly touched, uh, and and some of them uh, that that maybe uh, maybe are alone or, or miss mm-hmm. a loved one at that time, having a friend or a family member send those to them have have really created some of the most special memories that we've observed. Well, let's hear about some of those. You all, who has done this before? Okay, all, all step four of them, all yeah. four of them. Think of uh, a Valentine that you delivered that it was really, it meant so much to the person and uh, what that was like for you to be part of that surprise. Um, So one year, uh, I believe this was last year actually, the group that I was a part of, we visited a a, a nicer uh, assisted living home um, and uh, the uh, nice lady that we got to sing for, she um, I believe that she hadn't really had many visitors in the last, I think she said, maybe 10 to 15 years. Um, oh. And it was the most wonderful experience. Uh, she actually had to stay for a little bit and talk to us and got to know us. Um, but my favorite part was leaving when we were getting ready to head out and um, deliver another um, another message. We um, couldn't figure out the way down the hallway. And so she came out of her room and said, oh, don't worry, I'll help you. And she grabbed the hand of, of the um, base in our group and walked him out to the hallway as we followed. And it was the sweetest thing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's really special. How about anybody else? You've got a, a great memory of doing this. There was a young lady who um, we, we went to her workplace to uh, give her the love song and after we're done, she she was smiling. She was really friendly. And she just looks at us. She's like, that's the third one my husband sent me today. <laughs> and it was just so sweet. <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> Why stop with one? I lo- Because the one is a surprise. The second one is really a surprise. And the third one has got to be knocking you down, right? Because you really think, okay. That is a great idea. So there's another one for the for your own suggestion box if you're listening. You don't have to just send one singing Valentine to a person. They're so economical, you might as well really surprise them with a bunch. 
We, we'll we'll go uh, to multiple places if you if you order them. Yep. <laughs> very very cool. How about anybody else with a with a fun memory? Yeah, I was also at that place that Michelle was talking about mm. uh, with the woman who received multiple, and it, <laughs> it was quite the surprise for everyone involved, <laughs> <laughs> including us, including you all. Um, had but, you so it was three different groups then? You hadn't that was your I first one so. for her. Yeah, it very was, cool. Ours was. Um, later in the day whenever we arrived so there were uh, multiple groups that got there before we did um but yeah it was it was a surprise for everyone we didn't have any idea that we were the <laughs> third or fourth group to arrive at this uh business to give um give love this it. message to his wife i just love it all right and, and john was in on it you knew that was happening right well, when you see all the orders on on a page and, and you notice uh, and notice a repeated name uh, when we're we're plotting it out, it, it I smiled when I, I saw that. That was great. Love that. I think that's hilarious. All right, so let's review the uh, prices again. So the traditional singing Valentine. What do you get, and what does it cost? Well, all all the singing Valentines that we deliver in person uh, include our students dressed up uh, to the nines in their formal attire, tuxedos and gowns. Uh, they come with a flower, courtesy of our friends at Kathy Calgary. Remarkable flowers, a handmade chocolate, as well as a personalized greeting card. And when they deliver that to a home or a business, uh, they'll sing either the love song or the friendship song that you heard this amazing quartet sing just a few minutes ago here. Uh, and 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 they'll give them the card, the, the flower, and, and the chocolate. It's it's such an amazing personal gift. Within Stark County, we'll deliver those in person for fifteen dollars. Outside Stark County, but within a thirty mile radius of Malone, and we have a searchable map on. Online, if you're not sure if you're within 30 miles of Malone, awesome. um, is, is $30. We also have the new in 2019 special Valentine's package from our chamber choir, uh, where you get the same uh, features as the, the traditional singing Valentine, but they will uh, bring a full box of assorted chocolates, as well as a full-length romantic uh, jazz standard. Um, if you're outside the delivery area or if, uh, if in-person delivery is not the, the best option for your loved one, uh, we'll do singing telegrams over the phone for a $5 contribution. And also we'll deliver on the Malone University campus. If you have a son or a daughter or a loved one that's attending there or works there, uh, we love delivering them across campus only for $5. Awesome. Go to Malone.edu for more information. Malone.edu slash Valentines, or you can give us a call at 330-471-8231. And that is the Valentine hotline. You know what? I'm going to correct that. That is our Mary Haynes number. Okay. All right. Uh, call our singing Valentine's line is 330-471-8230. That's 330-471-8230. All right. Malone University singing Valentine's. John Peterson and, and et al. Thank you so much for what you're doing in our community. Likewise, Susie. Thank you for all you do.